It's spring. 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 <laughs> Which means beautiful plants outside and birds that are flying everywhere, trying to find their territory and build their nest and find their mates and singing gorgeous songs that I have not heard for a very, very long, gray, dreary winter, which is still quite beautiful here in Michigan, don't get me wrong. Very picturesque, beautiful, beautiful snow everywhere, but I cannot deny that spring is my season. This is the time of year I am so excitable because there's green outside, there's green in plants, there's just flowers everywhere, free, free flowers to look at, just blooming on trees, and it's so amazing, and I'm just so excited and happy, and I just walk around all the time right now in this haze of happiness and joy, and I am so glad that I have so many ways I can share that with you guys. I have been posting just about the beautiful days I've been having on Twitter. I've been putting up the pictures of the amazing red-tailed hawk that keeps coming by my home and all of the different flowers that are blooming everywhere on my Instagram. And then when I get really, really, really overexcited and happy and you guys are just so happy and leaving all these nice comments and tweets, then the predictable happens and the joy bubbles over and I end up making bonus videos like niche today so it's just amazing it's amazing so hello everyone and welcome back to the pixel biology community updates we are here with this beautiful goldfinch this is actually chips's goldfinch i brought it in from his office after asking permission it i got him this little guy as an audubon donation uh for christmas because he asked for donations to audubon so that's where this little one comes from and that's why the tag is still on it because he likes to keep them in collectible condition but if i squeeze his little butt let me see are you gonna make the noise did you run out of the battery? Oh no, he ran out of the battery, guys. Okay, they're gonna have to sing for the goldfinch, but we actually saw a goldfinch on our romantic Sunday afternoon walk today. And yeah, I, I'm very happy because it's spring and I'm having a wonderful day. And I need to bring myself back in and tell you guys the community news, because there's been quite a bit since I brought home some giraffes and told you guys all about my very spooky sky tram adventures, uh, which was totally spooky just because I'm afraid of heights, not because of anything about the sky tram at the Kansas City Zoo. But yeah, it, we've done a lot since I came home with those giraffes and told you guys that there were going to be some really fun surprises. And sure enough, we've had a doozy of surprises since that update vlog, and I hope you guys are really happy. It was so much fun to see all of you guess what it might be. So many different people going, is zoo crafting coming back? And there was one person on Twitter who actually guessed what it was, and it was the collaboration with Stacy of Stacy Plays, and I am still so thrilled and so happy inside to see how happy everybody was that Stacy and I jumped into the meadow in Meadow, the game, Meadow from Might and Delight together and ran around and are still running around as adorable little animals and eating flowers, or at least I tell her to eat her greens. You guys need to go check her point of view to see just how often that happens. And it's just been a amazing experience and such a fun experience. And it definitely was a surprise that only one person actually managed to guess. So that was fun. But the other surprise that many of you guys guessed, the return of zoo crafting, did happen too. And I have to say, you guys really tickled me with how many of you loved the random little preview like, hey, zoo crafting is coming back that I threw together. I just really wanted a way to kind of give you some previews of series that are coming up before I just suddenly drop them in your lap with no warning. And you guys were really, really tickled by that little zoo crafting preview. So I will probably do things like that in the future. Let me know if that's something you enjoy. These update vlogs, after all, are actually where we sit down and chat about sort of the management side of things and birds. A lot of chat about birds and plants and happy and joy and those things too. But the community vlogs are where we talk about how I actually try to uh, curate the channel, how I tend to this 
garden of adventure and discovery that we are working on building together. So if you guys like those little like tiny little preview videos, let me know because it's really fun. So I did another one after the zoo crafting one went over so well to introduce the event that we were having go down for Warrior Cats, also releasing. Yeah, collaboration with Stacy and Meadow, zoo crafting, Warrior Cats. It's been busy. <laughs> it's been really busy and there have been some huge projects that I have jumped into. But I put together a little preview in which I misspelled warriors, so talk about embarrassing, but that's there as a beautiful blooper forever. I might even take a snippet of it and put it in our Warrior Cats bloopers because I can't believe Warrior Cats <laughs> tonight. <laughs> I can't believe I did that, but it happened. So yeah, if you guys like those little preview things, let me know. I feel like it is helpful to be able to give you guys warning that, hey, this, this series is starting or hey, this event in a series is starting and to build up the like hype, which a lot of you are really into with talking to each other in the comments or on Twitter about things that are going to be happening. And it also is like a nice warning so that you know something fun's going to happen instead of just like a 20 minute video showing up and being like, I need to make time for it, how? But it was fun. And maybe that's all it has to be. Maybe it doesn't have to be anything fancy. It doesn't have to be anything about hype or helping schedules. It could just be fun. So if you enjoy it and it's fun, then we'll do more of those for other series we have in the future. Um, maybe not for every series, but for quite a few little dramatic ones or long arching ones or special events. I think that'd be really fun to do. But all right, so there's been a lot going down. We also had Niche ended up updating with its snowy biome update yesterday. Dropped that like in the middle of the night for them and it was like 6, 7 p.m. for me. But I was so excited, I'm still so excited. And the reason we had two videos today is because I was so happy. And that happens sometimes when it's green and glorious and spring outside and all the people in the comments are nice and happy and people on Twitter are nice and happy and there's just like, fan art and creativity and you're just swimming in this joy and you just want to share it and Chips and I went on a beautiful romantic like date this afternoon. I talked all about it on my Instagram and showed pictures and oh my goodness when that joy just bubbles over then of course it's very likely that I'm going to end up trying to channel it into something to share with you guys and today that was a bonus niche episode so that's just a good example of what happens when you have someone who's really creative or you have a creator that you really love, if you can bubble up the support and the joy and the happiness, often it just makes somebody want to make more things, even if their schedule may be a little bit taxing and I am still working on finding that balance. And that's actually another thing I wanted to talk about today. We have really made a lot of progress with figuring out how to manage all the various series on the channel mentally at least, on paper at least. Uh, I am working on having a better schedule. Thank you all so much for your wonderful comments and the discussions we started with the idea of do we want consistency of series or frequency of series? Because as we mentioned before, ideally, most people would like both, but those often can't happen. So after looking through all of your guys' comments and seeing everybody discuss things, N almost no one was upset if their favorite series couldn't be daily and a lot more people just explained that and I agree with this it's nicer to know that your favorite series is going to be coming out reliably and even know what days and time to expect them so that they're there and you have a better sense of confidence in enjoying the series and the emotions that they give you and the time it fills a lot of people if you're like me save certain series like I have several series <laughs> several sims and Stardew Valley and so many other series from other Let's Players that I watch that I save for doing certain tasks when I'm editing or when I'm cleaning my house or when I'm like cleaning the bird cages. <laughs> I will have a certain series that I'll save specifically to be able to do my task. And if the series isn't there, you feel thrown off because you can't do your normal chore. Or like when I go down to the boneyard, which is our little exercise place in the basement, to ride the, the exercise bike down there. I, if my sim series that I love from my favorite creators that I love aren't there, it throws me off a little bit. And so I'm really starting to lean more towards lightening up the number of episodes per series per week so that I can make sure that it comes out consistently because you never know when an unfortunate event like what happened this week when I had a very weird allergic reaction to bread <laughs> that actually knocked me out for three days but that's kind of where my thoughts on the scheduling of everything are currently 
laid out at where I'm going to work on consistency so it's going to be very rare for a series to be daily anymore unless it's a special event like the niche update uh, or if they're daily like they're during weekdays or during weekends like warrior cats I'm planning on having on Friday and Saturday and then we have a bonus episode either creating your guys cats or behind the paws or even something else that I might have up my sleeves that would be on Sunday so they may be daily but not seven days a week like 365 days a year <laughs> unless it's a special event like having niche we'll probably have niche uh, daily usually when a new series goes out i try to um or like an, a special update goes out i'll make it daily for a week and then we'll go to a normal schedule for it just because i really love celebrating the excitement and the hype of having something new so those are more of where my thoughts and ideas are on that let me know what you guys think um and i am probably give me another week or two to kind of fill it out going to be willing to share a public schedule of what to expect the trick with me is though that once I get a, a bunch of series laid out and consistent then I'll feel confident to share that but that doesn't mean that could be everything that shows up on our channel I am one of the more prolific youtubers there's pros and cons to that but I often just really really want to share something with you guys so if if and when I do share a schedule with you guys it'll always usually be our core series or the series that we have as special flavors of the month uh, starting May there's a certain series I have in mind that I've done once before I only did a few episodes because I was still using my laptop when I recorded that I hadn't upgraded to my super awesome PC Peapod yet but now that I have Peapod there's another series I want to try to record that I'm really excited about um, that would probably only be for May because at the end of May Chips and I have that trip to Taiwan coming up so we might have some flavor of the month series that will come out that I'd share the core series I would share their dates and times um, and I may do it so that instead of just posting like a list and a comment, I may have a calendar that you guys can go to and you can see what's done. And I may have some things that would be like surprise random thing coming out at six tonight, Eastern Standard Time. And if that's something you think would help you guys, let me know. And of course, don't feel overwhelmed when you see how many things we do. We're actually probably going to hit 5,000 videos 5,000 YouTube videos this week on my channel um, and I am debating if I should say the official 5,000th video is going to be the 5,000th video from my point of view or from what Social Blade says all my public videos are because there's a few that are like embarrassing because they were so old and I hit a few of them but they're very rare. I've always left the very first videos I put up out there for you guys to see so you can see how far I've come and encourage yourself with how far you can go with things. Because if you want to become uh, a content creator or a YouTuber or just share what your passion with the world, keep in mind Siri has finally gotten to this point after 5,000 videos. So you can't give up after the first 100, 200, 1,000, or even 2,000. You just have to keep going. Um, but yeah, we're probably gonna hit 5,000 videos pretty soon on this channel and I'm thinking about doing something really special like maybe a few streams where we could call them like the flashback Friday streams where I could go to that awesome random generator website I found and just hit random and we could look at like what that video was and kind of like skim through it together and we could see <laughs> who remembers it in the comment section of like the chat and we could chat about like what it was I could give you guys some behind the scenes things like oh <laughs> this is that sport episode do you remember this? This is my favorite stuff about Spore. Hey, maybe we should do this. What was your favorite stuff about Spore? I think it'd be fun to go through the videos at random like that, just on occasional fun like flashback Friday streams. So that's something that we could possibly do. Um, and of course streaming. I want to do regular snail mail streaming once I get the schedule thing figured out and try to catch up because of how many series we do. Uh, and again, we do a lot of series, but don't please don't ever feel overwhelmed. They're there in the archives for good. The series from the very first time I started posting on YouTube are still there. The series I posted today are still there. They will be there for you whenever you need them. And for me, I put out so many because I have to support my family. It's been very interesting with the ad revenue having literally dropped off like a rock. <laughs> 
and it's gone down by about a third to half of what I'm used to seeing. That makes me a little nervous because I just started paying for my mom's in-home nurse to be able to help her. And it makes me a little nervous because we do have that big trip to Taiwan that we can't back out of because it's for Chips's like education, his PhD program is why we're going. But I am going to just soldier ahead and work really hard. And we have some other secret things coming up. I mentioned the Etsy shop is going to start seeing some handmade items. I'm, I'm thinking about making really cute little like chibi versions of warrior cats. And I'm definitely thinking about mushrooms again. And there's some special like handmade jewelry pieces I'm thinking about doing. Uh, some really cute charms. So the Etsy shop is going to start seeing some stuff trickle in. And maybe that gives away a few of the secrets I don't want to give away yet, so shh, don't tell them, don't tell them what I said, birds. Anyway, if you happen to be an artist who does um, professional grade level work and has a portfolio, don't sell yourself short, mind, but just know I'm looking for like that level of stuff, please feel free to email me your portfolio and we might be able to talk about some projects I have in mind for uh, special things coming up pretty soon. So, uh, yeah, cough, cough. Anyway, moving on beyond that. Yeah, there's a lot going down. Hope to have the streams. Hope to have a steady schedule to be able to share with you guys. Um, I do hope to just work. Right now, I have a lot of other series in mind. I'll rattle them off just really quickly so you know what I'm thinking about, at least the ones I, I want to share with you and not the ones I want to keep as like a surprise secret. But 101 Dalmatians, Sims 4, Green Family Legacy, The Vampiric Legacy with Fangs and Flowers, um, a Zoo Tycoon 2, being able to maybe dive back into a Kairosoft, definitely bringing back Story of Seasons True of Towns that was not meant to go on an unintended hiatus, that was the bread's fault, believe it or not. Um, those things are just right off the top of my head, things that I plan on bringing into the fold again very soon, like in the next week or two if everything goes right. But then there's other surprises coming up and a lot of requests that I have been keeping an eye coming up that I would like to fold in in the next months. As I mentioned, we'll probably do like flavor of the month where we have something special maybe like 12 episodes of that if it does really great and everybody really loves it maybe I'll kind of elbow something aside to make more room but we might start doing kind of the rotational thing we started in October with certain series and that includes Wolf Quest <laughs> so I don't want to give away too many secrets but let's just say Summer of the Wolves that we did last year maybe making a grand reappearance this year with some special perks that I'm not going to mention yet, but I'm always working and thinking and striving to try to make things enjoyable and exciting and really bring bring the, the sense of adventure and community to you guys. So just know there's a lot of thinking going on behind the scenes. Trust me, I have literally three notebooks full of notes and details and trying to plan out what to do. And that's why these community vlogs are so important because you guys have a tremendous effect by the comments you leave in these vlogs over what we're going to end up doing in the future. So all of those things said, whew, that was a lot of saying of many things. Let me double check. Yep, hitting five silence video soon. Keep an eye out. It has been a little bit disconcerting to see like the support from the ad revenue of YouTube go uh, and hopefully that'll just even out. I don't want to talk about like the drama stuff of it because I can see it from a business point of view too. And you don't want to put all your eggs in one basket. And this was just a good lesson in that. So I am looking into alternatives to being able to try to make sure that um, the channel, the community, and also my family are all taken care of. And if that means I have to take like a job somewhere out there, like working as a nanny again <laughs> or something like that, uh, being a teacher again, would actually be really fun but that's what I get to do with you guys all the time then so be it but there may be some alternatives showing up in the future um mostly just because I I want to make sure that my family is taken care of and if you guys have been watching the vlog channel you know what I'm talking about so that being said phew, um let's see I'm going to Taiwan, which is very distracting, and I will definitely have to talk to you guys more about that trip coming up. Um, it's gonna be really exciting. You guys will come with me. I will actually have my special recording laptop that uh, I saved up for for quite a while and will be getting in very soon. Should come in within like the next week or so. But I'm taking that to Taiwan with me and we, ha we specifically got an apartment with fantastic internet. So I will be able to upload videos as normal and hopefully even stream with you guys in Taiwan. 
Taiwan. How cool is that going to be? Really cool, like really cool. So there's that, and then, yes, yeah, schedule's underway. Summer of the Wolves is probably going to be returning very soon with some twist to it that I'm pretty excited to share. And I am thinking about those theme, overarching themes again. And in the past, we've tried to do themes with new series and old series, having cool special events um, that were just like by month. But I think doing it in chunks of at least three to four months, so it's like by season, is probably, as in like actual spring, summer, fall, or autumn, winter seasons. But... I think that's probably better because sometimes when you get into a series and then it's like over in a month, that's not a lot of fun. But about three to four months, like when we did, um, when we did Dog Sled Saga for about three-ish months uh, back in winter as a winter special, that was fun. And I really like the flavor of that. So let me know if you guys really enjoy that flavor. And there's certain things bringing back every year would be kind of cool. And this year, uh, okay, I'll just go ahead and tell you guys. I'm thinking not only Summer of the Wolves, but then to try a few flavors that are totally different, maybe uh, Summer in Space. And so I'm thinking Subnautica, I'm thinking Spore, I'm thinking Starbound, and I'm thinking maybe Sims with a focus on aliens. So we could really do a lot of space-focused things, and we could try to do some things focused on space, even in zoo crafting, building observatories, talking about animals that migrate by the stars, like dung beetles, believe it or not. Things like that. That would be really fun to be able to introduce a big overarching theme for a whole season that we could focus on. So all of summer would be focused on summer in space, and we would have some of our core series running along as usual, but they even have special events within those series. So I think that would be really fun. And again, as you can tell, there's a bazillion ideas just bouncing all over the place right now. But I'm gonna let you guys go. Please feel free to leave me any questions or comments. There's actually quite a bit I didn't cover in things that I have planned. But again, if you are an artist who um, can do like professional grade work for charms, stickers, uh, maybe like little postcards, and, then please, and you're okay with me possibly using those as potential merch items, then please message me with your portfolio and your your just introduction of yourself into my business email. And then we'll talk and um, just keep in mind, I'm just kind of trying to find ways to, to take care of our community and really make sure that we can ride this out, this little ad bubble that's been going on. I'm hoping it'll be over in a few months and just move safely into the future because we have done so much, almost 5,000 adventures and every day I get emails and letters and messages and tweets and so many things from so many people around the world for what our adventures mean to them and I can promise you guys every resource I can use, every angle I can go at, every ounce of extra energy I can pour into channeling my joy into creating another thing to share with you is going to be there because I this is my life. This is the joy of my life, being with you and sharing these adventures with you. And they're wacky and zany and sometimes dramatic and sometimes inspirational and sometimes just straight up silly or casual. And there's so many of them because I just, I just love it. I just love it. And I can't wait to share more of the world that I'm about to see and experience for the first time with you guys too. So yeah, a lot coming up. Um, you'll be seeing some new things emerge as I really double down and try to stop putting all my eggs into one YouTube basket. Uh, if you are also a creator, then you know, <laughs> looking on the, the backside of things, you know that's probably not a good idea right now. Things are looking a little hairy over the last couple months, uh, or at least especially this month. But we'll make it through because I will do everything I can in my power to make sure that we will have lots of adventures and that I will use every avenue that I can cultivate to make sure that that happens and that our community can continue to look forward to another 5,000 videos of adventures and joy and exploration and just casual game nights and Kairosoft or who knows what. And I just can't wait to share all of it with you. So. I'm gonna go, I'm chattery, I'm excited, I'm happy, I keep looking outside because it's full of green. 
<laughs> and just let me know what you guys think. I will try to be a little bit more focused at, next time. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to get the community update vlogs up every week on a regular basis. But just give me another week or two. I am still going to work on the, the behind the scenes part of things to work really hard to get a regular consistent schedule of things up. And anytime I start to get overwhelmed, forcing myself to backtrack a little bit and slow down on the number of things. And then once I'm up and consistent, I will share it with you guys. And keep in mind, that doesn't mean that there wouldn't be bonus episodes popping up out of the blue, because sometimes I go on a romantic date day with chips, and I just want to share the joy with you. So I hope you guys are all having an absolutely wonderful day. Be sure to leave any questions that you may have for me, and I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.